The Digital Lenders Association of Kenya is calling on the government to allow industry players the freedom to determine a digital credit interest rate pricing. Ivan Mbawa, the CEO of Tala, has said digital lending rates are based on risk profile of a client, adding that a borrower's credit history determines the interest rate charged on their loan. And we'll gang up with the details. Digital lenders in Kenya are inching closer to becoming regulated entities. This is after members of the National Assembly gave the nod for review and debate on the proposed Central Bank of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020, which, if passed into law, will bring tens of digital and mobile lenders under the watch of the Central Bank of Kenya. The bill comes hot on the heels of another amendment bill that was being pushed by the late Bonshari Member of Parliament, John Oro, which sought to give the CBK powers to regulate monthly interest rate charged by the digital mobile lenders and borrowers' non-performing loans. But players in the digital credit market have defended the pricing of mobile loans, saying they are based on a borrower's individual risk profile. The pricing that digital lenders have actually reflects the risk that we perceive from our customers. So I'll give you an example as Tala. We as Tala actually have a range, a band of pricing. We don't charge all customers the same rate because not all customers have the same risk. So it means that you might start off with Tala at potentially 15% on your first loan. And by the time you're on your X loan, right, you've shown a successful track record of repayment, you're on 5%. And at 5%, that actually even makes it somewhat even more affordable than some well-known bank fintechs. Speaking on the sidelines of the launch of the Money Match campaign by Digital Lenders Association of Kenya, the association's chairperson, Kevin Mutiso, however, warned that regulation should not stifle innovation. Regulation, as Ivan rightfully said, is a sign of maturity of a market, right? So it means that we now have uh, understood what are the limits for our products, what, you know, we've also understood some of the bad actors, what they can do. And if we standardize the market, we can now have a more robust, more, um, uh, you know, we can access cheaper capital, ETC, ETC, and so it will be easier to onboard customers. And so actually regulation is a good thing. We, we actually quite excited uh, about it. We just hope that it will be progressive and that it will be a consensus approach um, which we are very confident will happen. Mutiso has also expressed optimism for the year 2021, saying that while the industry only moved 4 million loans due to the COVID-19 disruption in 2020, this year's performance is pointing towards recovery and a stronger performance this year. Pre-COVID, we were doing about 4 billion shillings. Um, the banks are doing about 25 billion shillings a month. So, you know, um, we do about 9% of the volume in the market. So let's see, um, you just extrapolate. Um, so it should be about, what, 4 billion also? We're just close to back to 2019 numbers. And as digital credit market prepares itself for regulation, the National Assembly Committee on Finance and National Planning has invited Kenyans and other stakeholders to give their views on the Central Bank of Kenya Amendment Bill of 2020 before it is sent back to the House for debate and approval. For Metropole TV, I'm Ondero Okanga.